title of the first section today is graph absolute value equations in this section we'll graph absolute value equations on a xy axis the first equation is f of x or f parentheses x equals the absolute value of x. To graph absolute values the first time we'll make a t-table with t values. Using the x values you can use any values that you want. The best ones to use for this case will be negative 1, 0, and 1. Plugging the numbers in for x, we can find out what the value of y is, or is also the same as the function of x. The absolute value of negative 1 would be positive 1. The absolute value of 0 would be 0. And the absolute value of 1 would be 1. Graphing these points on a xy axis. Negative 1, positive 1. 0, 0, and 1, 1. The three points line up to make a V-shape. We will connect them to make a V-shape. Every absolute value equation that we graph will be a V-shape. And this will be the graph for the question. Second question and last question for the section. G of x or g with x inside parentheses is 3 times the absolute value of x. So in this problem we'll take the absolute value and then multiply by 3. Same steps, we'll do a t-table, x, y, t-chart. Again you can use different values for x, but the best ones to use for these problems will be negative 1, 0, and 1. Plugging a negative 1 in. The absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1 times 3 would be 3. Absolute value of 0 would be 0. 0 times 3 would still be 0. And absolute value of 1 is 1 times 3 would be 3. Graphing the points again on the xy axis. negative 1, 3, 0, 0, and 1, 3. And again, the points should line up to make a V-shape. Every absolute value graph will be a V-shape. We'll connect them, and that will be the graph for the equation. Title of the last section of notes for today is more absolute value equations. In this section, we'll continue to graph absolute value equations. First question is f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 2. For these graphs, we'll graph uh, using a xy axis, but we'll be able to graph without using a t-chart. To graph absolute value equations without a t-chart, what we'll do is take what's inside the absolute value, in this case x minus 2, and we'll set that equal to 0. The reason we set it equal to 0 is this will be the smallest value or sometimes the biggest value that the absolute value can be. So x minus 2 equals 0 if you add 2 to both sides. 
we'll have x equals 2. For this, we can do a t-chart, but instead of doing three points or multiple points, we'll do just a single point at x equals 2. Plugging 2 into the original equation, 2 minus 2 will be 0. The absolute value would still be 0. Drawing the xy-axis graph, we can graph this function with a single point. The point is 2 comma 0. From the previous section, absolute values again are v-shapes. Normally the v-shapes will open upwards. Sometimes they will open downwards. To determine which way it opens, look at the number in front of the absolute value. In this case there is no number or there is a coefficient of 1. If it's a positive number like positive 1, the absolute value would open up. And that would be the graph for the function. Second equation will graph g of x equals inside the absolute value x and outside the absolute value minus 3. Again, to graph these using just a single point, we'll take what's inside the absolute value. In this case, it's just x, and we'll set that equal to 0. This equation is already solved, x equals 0. So again, we'll do a t-table with just a single point using the value x equals 0. Plugging a 0 in, the absolute value of 0 would be 0, and minus 3 would be negative 3. Drawing the xy-axis, we can graph just the single point, 0, negative 3. Again, to determine which way the absolute value opens, the number in front of the absolute value sign, if it's positive, in this case positive 1, the absolute value would open up. And that would be the graph for the function. Last question for this section. h of x equals the absolute value of 3x minus 1. And again, to graph this using just a single point, we'll take what's inside the absolute value sign, in this case 3x minus 1, and we'll set that equal to 0. Solving, we can add 1 to both sides, and divide by 3. So x is equal to 1 third. And again, to graph this, we'll do a single point on a xy t-chart. One-third will be the only x value that we have to use. Plugging one-third in, three times one-third would be one, and one minus one would be zero. Graphing this single point. One-third for x, and y value of zero. Again, looking at the number in front of the absolute value, as long as the absolute value is positive on the outside, the absolute value graph will point up. If there's ever a negative outside the absolute value sign, then it'd be the same graph, but pointing down. 